Thanks, Imelda. Happening now, Cuban migrants continue arriving in Laredo from Costa Rica, many hoping to get to their final destination and live the American dream. CBS 4 Tiffany Huertas live at the gateway to the Americas International Bridge in Laredo now with more. Tiffany. A big wave of Cuban migrants arrived in Laredo today. While many want to start a new life, it won't be that easy since they've hit a roadblock. Hundreds of Cubans arrived in Laredo anticipating freedom. Nos quedamos prácticamente sin un dólar para, para seguir. The American dream is the ultimate goal. Nunca pude tener nada. Mis hijos. Isaides Rodriguez is six and a half months pregnant. The 23-year-old made the journey to South Texas with her husband. Solo que todo el que migra es por problemas económicos. They paid hundreds of dollars to coyotes, the smugglers who use any means necessary to get them across the border. She is part of a group of 40 that arrived in Laredo Tuesday. Y el otro es que tengo libertad. Nearly 8,000 migrants were stuck in Costa Rica after Nicaragua began refusing passage to them in November. Porque yo puedo ayudar a un grupo, pero ya cuando estamos hablando de más de 50, 100, yo no voy a poder yo solo porque soy yo solo. Alejandro Ruiz is the founder of Cubanos en Libertad. Eh, donde los alojamos, donde los hospedamos, donde los ponemos, esa es la situación que nos está presentando ahora. A facility right across the Laredo International Bridge, which helps residents make their first call home and helps them plan their final destination. About 10 Cuban migrants are staying at this home. Now the big question is, where do the other hundreds arriving go? Cuando ellos llegan aquí, yo trato de que ellos me vean como la mamá o como una abuelita. El Valina Martínez works for La Cubanísima, a company that helps transport the refugees. Y aquí son historias así que para qué nos vamos a acabar nunca. Historias tristes porque no hay historias bonitas ninguna. Many of these people want to go to Miami. Porque allá es más posible trabajo. We ask Cubans if they cross for fear that they're going to get rid of an agreement that allows them to come into the United States. They said simply they want a better life. Live in Laredo, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.